Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to a, another video. We are starting the day off checking on these birds. Well, we've uh, unfortunately lost a handful, not a ton. We've got three, six, seven. We lost three pheasants, but this guy right here. Come here, Junior. Oh, Junior. 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 There he is. That's a guinea, okay? Uh, I bought guineas. I know it was off camera. It happened yesterday morning and I wasn't filming. I bought 10 of them, and in the mail, when I unboxed them, there was nine of them dead. So I think I need to quit buying birds through the mail. I don't, yeah, I'm blaming the mail. I think it's the mail. The mail, not the mail people, but just the mail system. I'm blaming the system right now. So we put the, he, the that guinea's identifying as a pheasant for now until the pheasants start picking on him or vice versa. So they're doing all right. And then the quail, we've lost, I think, 10 or so of these guys. But we're doing pretty decent know, they, on the quail. They they're look, not doing too they bad. They look fine. Like they look perfectly healthy. I don't know why they just all of a sudden die randomly. But they got food, they got water, I and mean, we got specific quail drinkers. We've got the temperature gauge. It's only 79 in there. I know that's a little chilly, but I dropped the light down there, and look what happened. It started that wood on fire, and uh, it was rough yesterday. Yeah, it was off camera. I know I almost burned the shop down. And so what I did was I put two lights in here, got it right at that 90 degrees that they say, and I came back, and there was like six dead. So I was like, okay, obviously, they're too hot, or my thermometer's off. So... We put the lamp like this, and we came out this morning, and there was not, how many were dead? Just a couple? We had uh, one quail and one pheasant. That's the least we've had so far. So, and it's the one of those things, like, in the evenings, or, in, you know, overnight gets a little colder in during the day. So, you know, maybe tonight we could try dropping this down a little bit. It's, it's tough. We got this one set up. We have more chickens coming, meat chickens. So this one's going to be ready. But, you, again, comment down below. I've, I feel like I've watched a bunch of YouTube videos. We seem to be doing it pretty much the same. The only thing that's tough is that the, the temperature in the shop will fluctuate. You know, like today it's cloudy, it's chilly, so they're gonna be colder. And then, you know, yesterday was like hot and sunny and they're gonna be hotter. So it's like, unless you're in here all day, every day, it's really hard to climate control. And I don't, I'm blaming the climate control. Also though, I wanna note this, okay? We, when we bought the chickens from Tractor Supply, we bought every bird, we bought turkeys and chickens. And they were, you know, I think they said four days old, three days old. We didn't lose a single one of those. So the common denominator with dead birds is through the mail. Every single time we've got a shipment through the mail, we've lost some. Anytime we've gone to the store and buy some, we haven't lost any. So I'm blaming the mail. But quail, pheasants, and one guinea are doing well so far. Hopefully we don't lose any more. But we have an exciting video. We are going to the auction today to buy more birds. I know. You're like, Flair, all you do now is buy birds. But listen, Junior, we're trying to build a sustainable farm where we get most of our food from the farm um we, you know, we haven't really done a ton of vegetable growing i'm more of a protein guy so i'm focusing on that first eventually we might have a giant garden or a greenhouse or something like that where we eat a lot of the the veggies i'm just i mean i eat vegetables but it's not like oh my god like dude look at that carrot that's a nice ass carrot you know i'm like more like man look at that turkey that looks like a nice turkey so we are going to the auction we're not sure what we're going to get but we're looking for again kind of the same objective as when we bought the quail something that either lays eggs and produces food something that is food um, uh, and then another s something that we need is something that eats flies, um, chickens and stuff like that. So we don't know what we're going to get, but we're thinking something maybe pertaining to some, some waterfowl, some ducks. I know, I hate ducks. I hate them. And we don't even know if they're going to have any today. But what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the animals. We got to feed them, take care of those. So you guys stay tuned for that. But we're going we're gonna to get ducks at some point. But I want egg-laying ducks. I want a big old duck egg to eat for breakfast and maybe potentially incubate and potentially harvest and hatch ducklings. But what we're going to do is that mini pond that's literally worthless because it will never stay clean no matter what we do. It could turn into the world's best duck pond. And so we're going to go down there and we're going to set it up, make sure it runs, make sure the filter's working. And then we're going to set up an electric fence around the entire thing, get their hut set out there, whatever. So basically the, the reason why I don't like ducks is because they make a mess in their water and like pretty much every single day you got to go down there, you got to spray out their little kiddie pool and they're just, the ducks aren't that happy. But we figured, hey, what if we fence it all in so they don't get KO'd? And then we give them a little hut so they have a place to go. And we give them their own pond that has its own waterfall. So that way ducks can do duck things. They can swim, they can dive, they can clean their beak and bill, whatever ducks do. And then we don't have to really clean out the pond. We just maybe change the filter, clean the filter once a month. So looking for low maintenance, but a high reward, which is potentially some nice ducks, like Quacky. We need, we need something to make some noise, but also laying some duck eggs for us to eat. So that's pretty much the plan. We're going to try for ducks at the auction, but we also might buy other things. Things. They also have horses. I don't really think I need a horse, but there's a chance that we need Carlos to have a little pony friend because he's always he's always doing Carlos things. He's always ready to go. He's he's wound. We need a female for Carlos. So, anyways, with that being said, we'll see you guys down at the animals. Shoo! 
all right we're back here bj you checking out the females huh buddy it's ever yeah. since we got the uh the chickens do we have not lost a single i can't believe it these ones are just we like, even lost some quail when we first got them. We have, these guys that we bought from Tractor Supply have never, they've, none of them have died. They've all been perfectly fine. The turkeys get along with the chickens well. And BJ knows the strat. He's over here. Look at him. He's he's, he's on he patrol. This area all day. Yeah, he's on patrol. These guys are just, look how big they're getting. And we haven't trapped a raccoon in quite a few no. days. No, I was going to so say, our raccoon trapping, day. we ended up wiping a few of them out. They, haven't come, they know the drill. They haven't come back, so we haven't lost any. It's been good. This section has been great. Well, how about the quail? Have we lost any more quail? I feel like for a while. Something's burrowing around in there. What could that? Should we set a trap in there sometime? Like, I don't, I don't know if it's a mole or a vole or what. Yeah, they're making. See that mound right there? Oh my goodness, dude, they're laying. We gotta get a new door. Okay, what's going you on? See this? Oh my god! Legit nest. Yeah, look at that. There's That's a that is a legit nest. Any dead ones or no? Well, there's a there's one under there. Dude, let's harvest today. There's so? Yeah, there's plenty. This one, we got one. There you Laying go. We got five. five. Okay, <laughs> six, seven. Oh, I see one back in the corner. There you go. Look at all that. Oh my god. That is that is straight harvest. That's why we buy egg laying birds. Is there two more? There's another nest back here. Really? Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh. You see that? They actually made a Dude, little these are going hard. area back here. Oh, wow. They, we, we didn't take them for a couple days because we wanted to make sure they were all super comfortable. There's some feathers on the ground, but I don't, I haven't, we haven't done a head count. See these? It's hard to get a head count. There is some feathers. Look, see that here? I mean, it's probably normal. It's just feathers, but look at that. That is a harvest today. Shoot, daddy. That's awesome. You're going to make some scrambled eggs or what do you think? And think a we couple, couple little omelets? I'm feeling hungry. Those look, those look good. Yeah. Well, quail are doing quail things. Yeah, we haven't done a head count, but I don't think we've lost. How many did we buy to begin with? 20? 27. 18, 21. Oh, there's a dead one back there. Rip. Oh, there is? Yeah, I counted 21 and, and a dead one. Rip. Yeah, we've, we have actually lost. How many have we pulled out that have been dead, though? Mm, three, four. So, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't. I, the thing is, when we've had experience with raccoons getting in here, I mean, they wipe them. So, yeah. it's like, I think they're just, what is going on? Look at these guys. He said, what's going on on this side? The old jungle gym. Wow. Where are you guys going? All right, well, besides losing a handful of birds, the, uh, the birds overall are doing pretty well. We set up a new water in the last video you guys saw, so let's make sure it's working. Carol, it's gonna be all right. Ruffy, who's a big boy? You enjoying your new water? That cold water do be bussing. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. Like I said, if you guys missed the other video, we set up a brand new water system we've never tried before, and it's supposed to give them fresh, clean, cold water. All the, Why is he like sir, that? sir. Ralph, watch out, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Oh, you got. St are you fighting with Steve? Every time he's got that on his face. The old dookie. Because he was oh, Steve. Spittin'. Steve will spit. Yeah. Steve, are you spitting? Spitters or quitters, Steve. Keep that in mind. Carol, how's it going, buddy? You, you having a good day? All right, move on over. All right, Rick, do not rub against me. All right, we got a new water system. Ralph, calm down. Look at that. It's working great. Oh, dude, it's ice cold. No moss. Yeah, not a single thing of algae. And it's been a couple days, so no algae whatsoever. Ice cold water, so this is the Shade Shack. We built this, like I said in the last video you guys saw. Rick, you can go anywhere else. Rick. Preferably anywhere Rick. else. Any, You can go anywhere but here. Rick. Go get him. Come Vamanos, amigo. All right, well, all the other animals are doing good. The only thing we still have to check on are the birds that are inside the pen still. Those are our, our uh, meat chickens. So we gotta see if they're doing good. And otherwise, we will be headed off. Actually, before that, we gotta set up the enclosure, so that all that fence is in the barn. So let's go check on the birds and then set up the enclosure. Stay tuned. Shoo, what's going on chickens? You have a good time in here? These are our meat chickens and we lost a That's handful. Smell. Look how big they're getting though. Sheesh. It's getting thick. Yeah, they are getting big. Why is that one over there so giant? Yeah, dude, they're big. Wow. Yeah, they're uh, they're getting there. They're losing their, oh yeah. These things grow so fast. Yeah. They're like naked. Yeah. So they barely get feathers. Yeah. So they're just meant to grow quick. Yeah. They're growing. They're growing nice. They're growing big. Now we need to get some of this wire. This is the electric netting. And this is what we're going to use to build our hopefully duck or just some type of egg laying bird enclosure. That's pretty much the plan. Okay. At least. Yeah. Okay. We'll rock with two and see how that goes. Uh, which and then, one has the gate on it? I don't know, but that's the gate. Okay. So we need that. We need that too. We'll see. We'll see how big two of them go. If we need more, we got a third one. But we used one for the garden. That was pretty big. Yeah, that was a long one. All right, chickens are good. They're doing good. Okay, so we'll show you where we're thinking. If I was a duck, where would I want to be? And I think having my own pond would be the best bet. So we're gonna come over here. This is the old mini pond. We tried for a couple years now to get fish in it, and it is. It really just won't stay clean, no matter what filters are in it, and. 
it's just too much maintenance. It'll, oh, there's something in it. I think there must be some bullfrogs. It's, it's fine. It's just not crystal clear enough for you guys to see us feeding fish. So what we're thinking, run an electric fence up over there, down here and around and give the ducks all that fresh grass and their own pond. And we've got a couple options. One, chicken tractor, but I kind of want to save that for our chickens. The other one is there's a dog house over there, an insulated dog hut. That's what we had old Quacky. Remember Quacky? We had him in there and uh, Tyrone and basically all of our OG birds that we had a little hut and they, they really liked it. So I think that'd be enough. Depends how many ducks we get, obviously, but let's just assume we get four or five. Then I think the little dog hut should work. So the plan is to get this fully electric fenced in because we ain't trying to have any predators come and ruin nothing, but there's only one predator, well, a couple, but one in particular that <sighs> there's like no defense mechanism possible. And that is the old owl. That's who killed our last ducks. I know it was, uh, it was bad. It was, uh, James Pond. He got, uh, he got KO'd first and eventually Quacky did. And, uh, so there's really, besides putting up roof on it, there's no way to really do it, but that's why I'm hoping the little dog hut has you know, a roof on it enough to where I don't think the owl could get in. That, that's what killed our ducks the last time was owls. Oh, really? And you can't do a ton about yeah, it now. And you can't hunt them, you can't kill them. So hey, we're, we're going to try our best. Um, if I need to put a, go get a guard dog or something, put them out here. But we could come up with something. I remember one year it happened around Christmas and we got a bunch of inflatables, light up dancing inflatables, and we like lined this whole thing and then we didn't have any issues. So if we got to go do that, we will. All right. Next up, take this fence, set up our brand new duck enclosure, and then we're going to head to the auction. So stay tuned. set up we got fence look all the way all it goes all the way up the hill and then boom, right back down here three electric fences combined created probably sheesh, i don't know maybe quarter acre worth of uh pasture for these birds and then here's our this is our nice little pie it's raining all right so this should hopefully hopefully work there was a lot of we, we went and weed whacked around it and then what we'll do we'll probably end up doing it tomorrow because it's raining you don't want to do it in the rain but you take just like a burnout type chemical, like a Roundup, something that'll kill everything, and you just spray this black wire all the way around, and it'll keep the grass from growing. And when the grass grows up, it, it, it doesn't take away the electricity, but it shorts it out. And so you get enough of it growing, enough grass is growing up on here, then the electric, electric fence is not electric anymore. So that's one solution. We just weed whack the whole thing, so it's short grass, and then just spray Roundup wheat, basically just spray a bunch of weed killer, just right at the base of it, keep it from growing up on it and it should stay electrified. So this sucker, let's get this guy set up here. Oh God, I forgot how hard this ground is rip. Put it on. Oh really? Yep. Oh, banjo. Banjo. oh banjo. banjo. It's not even on, but it's still scary. Is it bad it's wet? Is this gonna be hotter than usual? Is she hot? I'm kind of scared. Yeah, I got it. It is? Yeah, it's not bad. I'm holding it on there. It's just buzzing you. It's, it's hot enough to where I think a a raccoon will get smoked. Wouldn't like it. Yeah, you want to give her a try? Sure. It's really not bad at all. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> going. <laughs> She's that hot. That got me good. She did it? Yeah, touch it over here. I think it's charged up now. Uh, okay. It yeah. Just, it scared me. <laughs> it, it, it wasn't bad. Yeah, it just started. Okay, so then when you need to get in, just click it off. We did, we decided to go against the gate. The gate was just Too being much. kind of a pain. We can just crawl. If you forget to turn it off, you get a little tingle in your balls. Nothing big deal. Yeah, that's. Let's see, this is why we don't have. See how nice and clean it was until we turned it on. What a piece of junk. Yeah, and then yeah. So, but ducks don't mind. They yeah. they so waterfall for the birds. They got plenty to do. And then we're thinking when we feed them, we get the floating food and we can throw it in there. Yeah, let's get their let's get their little hut. It's pouring. In case you were curious, um, what's going on right now? It's pouring pouring down rain. Feels nice. Actually, does feel nice. It's just you know just. We're damp. Like I said, I don't know what we get. The goal is ducks, but I think pretty much anything can live in that enclosure. They got tons of water. They got... We, bottom? Nah, just, no, just, just leave it like that. That way they got grass. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Any, pretty much anything I think can live in that little hut. But like I said, egg laying ducks would be ideal. I don't know how to train... Wow, I just about died. I don't know how to train ducks to lay in the same spot, per se. So I don't know how that really works. Maybe they don't. Maybe it's like quail. But um, anyways, I'm excited. This is cool. Look, we got garden. We got the ducks. We've got the big animals. We've got baby chicks in there, baby chicks in the shop. We've got quail over there, turkeys, chickens. I mean, we're back to farming with flair, folks. We're bigger and better than ever. That'll sleep probably half a dozen easily. We're farming. We're farming. 
All right. Well, see you guys at the auction. Shoo! All right, we made it. We are at the auction, folks, and uh, I looked online. They usually post some pictures. It looks like they've got a ton of variety. I don't know if they've got any egg-laying ducks, but I saw a, a huge variety of different kinds of ducks. I uh, also saw some turkeys, some chickens. I think I saw some guinea pigs, and there's a ton of food as well, some produce, some eggs, and uh, hey, but there's really not that many people here, so I'm thinking we're going to get a decent deal on whatever we end up buying today. So, well, we'll see you guys inside. Jump on that. The old yeah. Get the old, she coming home? the old snowmobile. Odds that thing fires up. Not good. Really? <laughs> You're telling me she don't just fire right up? It's the old classic. I like it. I've never seen a snowmobile here. That's a new one. Oh, we got a fishing trolling motor here. Sheesh. Gate, some nozzles. Anyone need a nice wet couch? It just rained. It's a nice wet couch. Some nice chickens. These look old they do. and grown. Three. <laughs> Four. We'll buy all of them. Oh, look at this guy. Should we get this nasty guy? What's wrong with him? You don't like him? Oh, oh they have wedge. Oh, we got. We're have to cut out everything's flight feathers. Sorry about that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Those are those, those are, are the. Hoodies, uh, no, I think they're. Uh, <laughs> really? I'm pretty sure they're the mandarin. They have like the long. I have to look it up. I've seen a type of. I, I, like I think they're. I think they're kind of like a mandarin. Some type of mandarin. <laughs> Really? Well, we've got Muscovies. Looks like some widget. We gotta get the widget. Uh, yeah. Those aren't good for anything other than they look cool. Some nice roosters. This is one year old one rooster. roosters. We don't really. BJ is he, BJ can hold the fork out. Ooh, we got some turkey. This see this is what our chickens will look like in probably a month or so. Yeah. Those are perfect eating size though. Yes, they are. You guys are ready to be cash clean cooked, huh, buddy? Oh, All right. Uh, yeah. We're, we don't need any more turkeys. We have plenty. Let's see. They have nothing. There's really not much today, dude. This is a. Uh, Kind of sad. It's kind of a sad auction. Yeah, look at these guys. Mandarins. Is that what it is, Mandarin? Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. You're right. Oh, they're banded. Really? That's kind of cool. The old Mandarin these and then some widgets. Yeah, we got to get the widget. Banjo, Ban Banjo always skipping work, but he would go nuts over some widget. Excuse me. He'd go nuts over some widget. They, they were in sync right there. Yeah, they were. Oh, look at those page. Racing homers. What? Really? What are you, Junior? I don't think you're supposed to be here. I had never seen you. Always say laying in a month. Really? One month will lay. I don't. That means they think they're gonna lay in their first year. That's pretty optimistic, if you ask yeah. me. Some more pullets, pullets, oh. more quail. Ten weeks old. Hey, how you guys doing? More pullets, rabbits, 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 rabbits. Wow. Oh. Wow. Look at these big boys. Beers. Sheesh. Some some hens, hens, and all, they're all hens. That's what I'm saying. Really? One year old laying hens? Those are kind of a cool color. I don't I think like I've them. ever seen those. You ever had like those dark ones like no, that? No. These guys too. Look at the little mohawks. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good chicken. You like those guys? So they have some laying hens. It seems like the ones out there to me look more mature, mm -hmm. like more established. Ooh, they got some horny quail in here. They're getting after they're there. Short little ears. Why has he got like no ears? Oh my God, look how cute he is. Oh, those are geese. Oh, those are geese? little goslings. So they don't have any lang lang ducks that I've seen. Not, not have you? Seen so far, should we no. get should we get baby geese or is that just a bad idea? That baby geese would be kind of cool. You think so? Yeah. We could, so we could get the widgeon. We could get the widgeons, the mandarins. Should we get the muscovy? No, I Why? hate that thing. Why that thing's not? ugly. What's wrong like with the muscovy? He he's such a nice guy. If anything would lay an egg, it'd probably be that guy. He looked big, right? He was bigger than the rest of them. Yeah. I don't right. know if muscovy's legs or not, but they they don't have the. Peck, pelt peckins, or there's one we're after. Mm -hmm. That's Quacky's breed. We don't have him. So, anyways, we got options for some birds. Like I said, I think the goal is to come home with some ducks and come home with some lang chickens uh, to help with the fly problem. Eventually, get some eggs out of them, and then uh, have some ducks to enjoy the pond and the pasture that we just built. So, anyways, you guys stay tuned. Shoo! I'd say we get her. Hook her up Hook to Ralph. Ralph. Yeah, big yep. Daddy Ralph, let him pull you around. He's got hazard lights and everything. He'd pull you around the county. This is the like real deal. I've never seen that here, the old wagon. So I, I'm curious, what, what do you think something like that goes for? Could not tell you. Like, is this like $1,000 or do you think it's like $200? I have no idea. That's, it's got that's cup holders. Cup, really? Cup holders. That's custom. Dude, I wish I had something that would actually pull that. Carlos? Because that'd be kind of cool. Oh, dude, that Carlos. Pull us around a little oh, bit. Oh, get the saddle. Throw that on Carlos. Ride them around. Yeah. Well, they're getting on the, the produce right now. We'll go check it out. There's probably nothing too interesting. <laughs> Sometimes they've got eggs and some other stuff, but most of the time it's Looks like a grocery store went out of business. I mean, yeah, there's a bunch of eggs look at all these snacks. What do they got in here? Some ruffles, some chips, some. What are these? 
flavor, flavor shots. shots. Huh? Yeah. Bro, this whole thing is full of eggs. Yeah, this is what we're trying to beat. Yeah, I want to be these guys. See, I don't want to buy the eggs. I'm trying to get the chickens that will lay the eggs. So we were talking, I think our strategy is buying a set of laying chickens for the chicken coop, the original chicken coop, the OG one, my very first chicken coop ever, lock them in there for egg production. Then buy another set of younger hens that aren't quite laying like on a consistent basis, throw them out on pasture with the big animals just for fly control. Then buy the mandarins and the widgeons and the Muscovy ducks for the duck enclosure that we built. So we're gonna get a bunch of different animals, but also look at these, look, look at these goose eggs. And they're fertile, dude. You might have to get those. I want to just eat that. Yeah. I want to give. I want. I want to get the old. Well, they have ducks. I mean, look how many eggs. They have duck eggs. Oh really? Like, who's harvesting this many eggs? Look at this. Somebody's gonna have a lot. He's talking about thousands. See, I want to be like these guys. I want to have just. I love eggs. I eat like five eggs every single morning. I freaking love eggs. I want to try the that old goose egg. egg. That's the old Mondo egg. We got now. Next, we got to find some laying geese. Lang ducks, because these ducks aren't laying. Well, Muscovy might be, but I doubt it. We need to find laying ducks and laying geese next, but for now, we're just going to have to stick with... I mean, there's more eggs over there. The eggs are never in there. We'll have to try them. I don't know. If you guys want us to buy goose eggs and eat them, see how they are. You guys will have to let us know. So, anyways, we'll see you guys when we uh, hopefully start bidding on some birds. Stay tuned. Oh, what was Say it might not be the Seventeen and a half. So twenty dollar number. Times the count. My. What did I miss? Last week they were like two dollars. That's already thirty. When you get thirty now, see what I have. Have get two and a half. Thirty-two and a half. Gonna go. 35, 37 and a half, 40, bro, <laughs> 42 and a half, come on, 45, you can have it, so 42 and a half, 40 dollars for a bird that's going to probably just fly away, probably, these guys are nuts, <laughs> this ain't the day to buy birds, okay, change plan folks, no ducks, uh, they were 50, 40 and 50 dollars a bird, I just, I can't, 60, Six. I can't, I can't, I know widgeons are cool, I know banjo would have made me buy them, Sixty dollars per bird. I just and, they might fly away. and the price can fly away and get chaos. Okay, so the only thing that's here that we don't have in particular are the geese. Now we have one guard goose and he's fine, but these guys would also enjoy a pond. So we'll have to get ducks a different day. I'm telling you, you just today's not the day to be. I don't know who's why these people are spending a fortune because literally peacocks were going for like ten dollars last week. So change of plans. We're gonna try to get. I say we get these guys because they're because they're laying eggs. See, there's an egg there, and there was an egg in there. They might they might they might have been. Was he sitting? I can't see nothing. But these guys, I think we'll buy three and three, and then probably buy the geese, hopefully, for the pond. We set up the enclosure. I just couldn't. I'm like, I can't spend six dollars a bird. Just don't make any sense. Like, I you know I know we could obviously do it. It just doesn't. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I'm trying to make sense of this whole thing. So. Anyways, hate to break to you guys. Really. We're not getting any ducks, but we're going to do our best to get some geese, and hopefully they're not $10,000. Because they're younger, so they should be cheaper. Hopefully. I hope so. This auction is just not... Today's not the day. You want to be an auction buyer, bird buyer, today's the day to sell. We should have brought all of our animals today. Not a day to buy. So, all right. Well, fingers crossed, we get the geese. <laughs> Maybe he won't take them all. Still ten dollars for pullets. That's ridiculous. We should have brought some of ours. Should've we we should have sold ours. Yeah, I'll take some. Four three one. Four three one. Four three one. These two left. Ages. Okay. Well, both of them. Yeah. Times twelve. Yep. All right. Spend uh, one hundred twenty dollars on pullets. When you already had a fly control. Fly control. I'll, I'll give you five. I'll give you five. Oh, we're gonna start all over. I got five. Now six. I'll get it going. Okay. Nine dollars, ten dollars. So nine dollars. Four three one. Four three one. Oh, we bought nine. Oh, no, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, we didn't have a choice. We had yeah, to. We had to. 
<laughs> so ten bucks, nine bucks, not bad. Not terrible. I've I've seen worse. For laying, that's not bad. Yeah, they, there's an egg inside, so we'll have, we'll have omelets in the yeah. Yeah. Breakfast, breakfast in the morning. Breakfast in the morning. Just the three on the left. Oh, I knew I was gonna get smoked. <laughs> we had to. Yeah. Twenty. What was it? Twenty what? Twenty five a bird. He's got seventy five dollars on three things. I just want the three. Yeah. We could buy one of them from you, so we wouldn't have to buy three. I'm That's why I was hesitating. Yeah. I like the. I like the. I like the older ones. I'm good. I'm good with the three. That's why I didn't go for the younger ones. Yeah, I don't want the younger. But yeah. I'll, I'll keep the three. I appreciate okay. that. Yeah, no, that's okay. All right. It's expensive bird day. Why do we get? How many birds did we get? Three, six, nine, twelve. No, Plus twelve nine here. Twelve there. And then three. Yeah. Sure. Twenty-four Four. birds. God, you got played. Why? Why? <laughs> Easy. That was almost bad. Yeah. <laughs> so mean. Well, we got nine out of twenty-four down. Nice. <laughs> Hey, don't bite me. There you go, buddy. All right, we got another. F How many chickens you bought? Why do we buy so many damn birds? All the birds are in, boys. See you guys at the house. Yeah, I'm on dad duty. Well, uh, Mace, I came home, Macy's like, you're late, you're on baby duty tonight. I was like, I'm, I'm what? I'm on what baby? Uh, oh, on baby duty. So I was like, you know what? The baby is now on chicken duty. So, uh, you enjoying yourself? So I said, I told Macy, I said, you better strap her to me because I got, I got chickens to unload, we got geese to unload. I was like, I have work to do. The work don't stop around here. So Macy left, I'm alone with the, Eight month old. You excited? She's pretty content so far. She's a good. So baby. I, I strapped her to me, and we're here to unload chickens and geese, I guess. Yep. And uh, so the geese are gonna go in here. The small pullet chickens are gonna go just to scratch. In the pasture. Just in yeah. the pasture. Do we need to worry about flight feathers yet, or? I mean, if they're gonna get, they can get out through the grates. That's true. Four inch so just hope they so don't just, try. Just hope they don't get out. BJ's over there too. They'll probably end up following him around. They might hang hang out my boy BJ, and then the uh, we have nine laying hens, and all nine we're gonna put in the box. I think that thing can hold nine. It looks a little closer to eight. So if we end up kicking one out or we can always kick a couple out and we can always build another coop too. We it's can just... put one in this pen with the geese oh, true. and let them rip in here they'd be, too. They'd be all right. We'll try nine if we see them not, you know, nesting in the boxes. There should be a lot of eggs, nine yeah. eggs, almost a dozen eggs a day. Uh -huh. You excited, buddy? I'm, I, she's just content, dude. She's such a good baby. <laughs> she's just hanging out. We gotta make this a thing. She's hanging out with just the every day. <laughs> every day. The farm chores need to be done with the baby. It'll teach her how to raise chickens. Probably the, probably, the, probably the wrong way, because I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. I can be camera guy. Yeah, I'll look, be at, look at me. Hey, I'll I'll be goose wrangle. You having a good time, buddy? No, okay. All it's right. actually her eight month old birthday today. Oh, really? Yeah, eight months. Isn't that crazy? Eight months. I got, you know, can you clean the lens for me? But we're going to get just the geese. Oh, uh, and there's three or, f oh, there's three, three. Three geese going in here. I think they'll be fine just in the dog hut. I don't think the chicken tractor, we don't need to, I mean, we can leave it in there for now. It doesn't really do it and serve any purpose, well, but you know what we'll do? what's that? If we don't have enough room for chickens in there, we'll throw the extras oh, just in here. True. Scratch. True. Oh, look at BJ, he knows. BJ, we got you some new new females to, oh, he's excited. BJ, come check it out. Check out the new, uh, the, check out the chicks. All right. Ready for this? Um, are you, what's the strat here? What if they I'm get out and- i the geese and then I'm gonna close it. And I'm gonna okay, take one do, goose do you in need, what, what do you need me for? Gate <laughs> duty. Okay, you got one goose. Okay, you're doing better than you me. You got gate on that. I, I, I can hold it. Two. Okay, you ready? Uh, 
Okay. Yep. Alright. Alright, I got it. Good job, Brooklyn. Good job on gate duty. Can I put him in the pond? Yeah, you can send him by the pond. Alright, we're going in. You guys are alright? You alright? Look, look at the pond. You're fine. You got it. You got it. You got it. Stay at, no, you, no. Tell him, Brooklyn, no. No, you stay there. Look at, look at them, they're already eating the grass. That's crazy. Oh, the geese are, they're gonna, oh. He's excited. Look at, oh, you're getting it. Oh, they got a nice pond. The, the pond's been flowing. They should be good in here. Hopefully they don't get KO'd, but this old dog house should work nice. We got the third little gray guy. There you go, he's young. Look, yeah, I say the gray guy's young. He's got baby wings. All right, buddy. Well, you guys just. You, so far, so good. You tell him, you say, do do some goose things. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. You know I, you know what to say. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. All right, we'll let them be. We'll come check on them before we end the video. No, you, no. No. No, go. I'm not your mom. No, I already have no, a child. I don't need another one. No, I don't need another one, believe it or not. No. All right. So, trying to think if it would be smarter. Do we put them on the sheep side or do we put on the big animal side? The big animals will have more fly larvae, but they might be able to get out of the big animal side. Versus the sheep side, I don't think they could get out of the sheep side because our... Oh, they could definitely get out. They could definitely squeeze through the holes if they really wanted to. We just got to get BJ back in a pen somewhere and tell BJ he's on chick duty. BJ, come get the girls, buddy. We're gonna put the uh, chicks where there's less animals because Ralph, one step from Ralph and these guys are KO'd. So we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, pullets, the younger chickens that are not able to lay eggs yet, but could easily eat bunches of bunch of flies for us, which is what we want. This is all about fly control. So we're having different chickens do different things on the farm. We have them lay some eggs, which is good. We have them to eat, which is also good. Yeah. And then they have them eat flies. So with three purposes for chickens on the farm. Ready? All right. You're free, buddy. Go get them. Sheep, be nice, sheep. Sheep, be nice, sheep. BJ, oh, he, BJ's freaking out. Come on, BJ. You can, BJ, look at him, look at him. BJ, come get him. BJ, he, dude, BJ's amped, bro. BJ, are you amped too? BJ's amped. Look at all these chickens. Oh, this is perfect. Uh, yeah. I like this. BJ, come on. What do you think the strat is here? I mean, one stand by BJ already. They're gonna follow BJ, look. Yeah, look at that. Okay, how many do we buy, 12? Yeah. How many do you think we're gonna have in the morning? Oh, BJ's already about it. He's Good job, him. BJ. Heard him back. Oh yeah, they, look at him, they just walked right out. Yeah. This, what, were, what were we thinking? That's a bad idea. We're, oh, let's put the youngest chickens where the, small, the biggest holes are. It's literally well, I mean, what we this whole did. fence is four inch squares. Do you think BJ will just hurt them? Yeah, I mean, he's gonna chill with them. All right. Well, I mean, these guys are these guys are getting it. They're yeah. they're already scratching. Uh, All right, I mean, we got gonna be up in that pasture. We got twelve. So. As long as they follow BJ around, life will be good. BJ knows the strat. He's he's the king. He's the king chicken and rooster, I guess, around here. He's the big cock in town. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're really locking in a lot. Look at BJ. You have to be. It's up to you, BJ. You got to keep him in line. Oz we have 12 in the morning i honestly have no idea but we might we might i think it's i think bj will do fine they'll follow bj at night bj always roosts back inside the animal pasture so they should follow him hopefully i hope either that or what either that or they're all going to be gathered by these guys over there which look how many chickens we have why do we why do we have so many chickens oh look the two are running they're getting scared by the sheep they're getting scared the sheep oh the sheep is herding them out no herd them back in why do our donkeys sound like this? Why do, why do they sound like Look how many... What, why do we have so many animals? I don't know. There's so many animals now. Yeah, there's a lot. I like the little chickens. They're kind of... They're yeah, just like they're cute. cute. They're just like little miniature guys. I mean, we'll, see, we'll see what they end up... BJ! BJ! Get them... Don't... Go get them... Go herd them back, BJ. Two that were out there? Make it... Yeah, no. The, the sheep scared them back out. Oh. Yeah, they're all out here. They're, they're all eating right they're there. They're free range now. Free range and... Probably KO'd. Maybe not. Maybe they're again. It's up to BJ. Big boy BJ. He's look at him strutting. He's got it. All right. These guys we're gonna lock in a coop. These guys are valuable because they have they lay eggs. So hopefully in the morning, Brooklyn. I cook Brooklyn. Brooklyn one egg, scrambled egg every single morning. She, we put little tomatoes in it. We actually mix, mix spinach and cottage cheese. I know it's a weird combination, but she likes it. So I make her eggs every single morning. So right here, we're gonna come out in the morning and we're gonna make, we're gonna make breakfast tomorrow. Okay. You excited, buddy? Hey, look at him up in there. Oh, oh God. What's going on over here? B BJ, we, these are not for you. BJ, BJ. BJ is a whore. He's all about the, he's all about these chicks. BJ, go herd the little ones before they die. BJ, I don't know what to tell you. They're all in there. How many did you get in there up top? Uh, about half. We got two, at least two, still up there. He's already roosted. Oh God, yeah. He's got it. Good work, Jake. Thanks. Yeah, I'm just here to hold the camera. I'm the camera guy now. Look at me. How'd that go? I mean, she's enjoying it. BJ, where are your friends? Are they all? Oh, they're going. Are they going to go back? Dude, look how many chickens we have. Look at these. Why do we have so many chickens? The old free-range flock. BJ. BJ, leave those alone. 
BJ, leave him alone. Go get the BJ. Go get the other one. He's into older older ladies. He's yes. like Banjo. His name is Banjo Junior. It all makes sense. Banjo's a big cougar guy. All right, well there you have it, folks. I can't tell you how many of these guys we're gonna have left in the morning. It really depends on BJ. It's up to BJ. I don't. I definitely didn't think they would get through the fence gate, and then I realized they are pretty small. That's why they have chicken wire. Chicken wire is very small. They're yeah, they're flight control is their only purpose. If they get KO'd, they get KO'd. No, I don't want to mean I don't mean it like that, but you they're they're supposed to be free range chickens. So it's the most free range thing that they can do. They're gonna go scratch and do it's just it's really gonna depend tonight. Will they get up and roost somewhere? That's that's the only thing that's gonna we have been keeping up with the raccoons, so so we might be alright, but anyways, we got these guys and we ended up off camera. We ended up putting the geese inside the chicken tractor because they also could get through this fence i know you guys are like obviously yeah, yeah. i know i know uh, we weren't planning on getting like baby yeah. geese though no we were planning on getting full-size ducks which could a full-size duck thing. could probably do the same thing so this perma fence there's two different sizes we have two big oh, ones chickens are in oh well, that's fine if they want to go in there too they can go in all right oh they're maybe coming they'll just rip over here all right maybe they'll just be maybe they'll be as long as they stay in here tonight they'll be fine yeah this but the perma fence has big holes and then there's some with small see they couldn't get Oh. That's what I'm saying. They couldn't get through the small holes right there. So, but we only have two of those. So we voted to make a bigger pasture with larger holes. We might just have to make the pasture smaller with a bunch of small holes if we start having raccoon problems. But we have a lot of birds now. Three geese are going to be in there. We'll get them some food and water. I think the idea is just put them in there for a couple days, then let them free range. Those chickens are just going to be free ranging, and well, we're really just going to hope for the best on these guys because there's no way to really contain them unless we put them with our other chickens. But these are bigger and they usually won't get along introducing new chickens. Um, and then we've got the nine Lang hen that should hopefully be laying eggs in, by the morning. So that's all we have. Brooklyn and I, I gotta go, I gotta go make her some dinner. I don't know what Macy has on the agenda. Let me see, Macy might have texted me. Snack when she gets up. Gets up. From a nap? Is she supposed to be napping right now? Wait, what? I thought. You're messing up. I'm sorry. Already. I think I was supposed to put her down right away. Uh oh. Snack when she gets up. Well, we're adventuring. Uh, yogurt melts in water. If cranky, cut them up. Oh, cut up a frozen peach in a popsicle thing. Oh, I like frozen peaches. Good. Frozen peach and uh, five dinner. Just cut it, cut it smaller. Heat up the meatball. I think meatballs. Meatballs it is, I guess. Well, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, Brooklyn's getting hungry. BJ's. He's all about the cougars. He's he's only he's not into these little guys. Oh, look at all, look at why are they sitting there? Like why are they all in one spot? I, I don't even know what's there. I don't think there is anything there. Whoa, what should we throw? Feed in there? Yeah. I was just thinking about that to teach them to go inside. I think we should. Okay, all right, hang on. We're not done yet. We're not wrapping this video up. Let's see if they're feed trained or not. Really? They're getting it figured out? Oh, she's packing a little bit. I don't think there's any herd in these suckers. Well, why don't we just, why don't you just dump food in here in case they, they meander? They'll eventually find it. They just have to meander over here. And then we'll give the geese a little bit of food too. But the find their way on, over watch here. Your toes. Oh, the fence is on. Yeah. That would that would win Dad of the Year award right there. Getting all shocked by the electric fence. That wouldn't be good. All right. Well, now we're ending it. <laughs> Comment down below. Are these are these dead chickens? Are they gonna be alive? I feel like they're gonna be all right. I'm not, I'm really not that worried about them. I mean, in a perfect world, we would have taken them and put them in that chicken tractor. That's the whole point. But they're supposed to be. They're not supposed to be in this pen. They're supposed to be in that pen. So we put them in that pen. Then they got out, as you guys saw. So I don't know. We'll see. Either way, we got a oh, bunch oh. of birds. Oh, you getting them? Oh. You getting them? I figured it out. I'm giving them a line. Really? The old mealworm line. A little getter found. Well, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully, in the morning, we got eggs, alive chickens, and alive geese. That's the plan. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace.